What I'm going to do real quickly now is go ahead and see if we can come up together with some program ideas. Okay, the first thing that I'm going to do is bring an idea to the table. And then I'm going to ask you guys to bring up some ideas. The first idea that I had, which uh, the Imam had mentioned, is making paper bag lunches for the homeless. Okay, so in terms of uh, a budget, it'll probably be $100. Why? Because your supplies are pretty simple. Peanut butter, jelly sandwiches, piece of fruit, a, you know, a box uh, drink or something like that. You get some crayons or markers, have the kids at the masjid color, make the bags artistic. You go, you deliver them to the, to the homeless shelter. The kids get to see the, the appreciation and the gratitude that a homeless person uh, will, will have. Not just that, but they will see the individual regain his dignity. Because you know what? To beg for money means you have to strip away some of your dignity. Giving back dignity to a homeless person is worth more than $100 that you give them cash. I guarantee it. It's amazing. What are some other ideas that we have that we can do at a masjid? Oh, come on. You have one? OK. Say it out loud. Partnering, out, uh, partnering with uh, the local Christian. Partnering in the interfaith level. For a slam poetry night. For a slam poetry night. The the with the positive messages as the focus. What do we have here? Visiting the hospital for the sick. Uh, Imam, we have hasanat in that, don't we? Absolutely. And we get a lot of hasanat for that. And especially if they're strangers, going in with a gentle, a gentle hand, just saying, how are you today? Visiting the homeless, whether it's in your, are you saying the, the, the people who would be in your mosque who are sick, who might be in the hospital, or would it be just strangers going in and as volunteers? It could be both. What other ideas do we have? What can we do in the back? We got something in the back, ma'am? Reading, reading to the senior citizens, going to a nursing home. When I was a child, we had pets, and we would take pets to the nursing home. The stories that came from the, these elderly folks, it just, it, it lightened, it, there was light in their eyes. Reading stories to them, they would love that. What else do we have? We're on a roll, okay. Planting trees, excellent, that's a great idea. Working with other communities. So she, she had shared with them a little bit of our, uh, of our faith tradition that planting a tree, the Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said that planting a tree is like planting in Jannah. In Jan, in and these kind of things, it connects us. It connects us. What, do we, what else do we have? A crop walk. That's cool, a crop walk. Okay. All right, excellent. I had that on my list, but I wanted want somebody from here to joining up with Habitat for Humanity, building a home. Unbelievable. I'm going to hang on back there. We have another brother here. Having a Quran contest, but just once a year, if that's okay. Because you know what? Like I say, competition tends to divide, but it also is a good motivation and a good drive. Maybe we can have different levels of competition. And maybe you can have a competition for those who speak Arabic and for those who don't speak Arabic. Because you know what? For a person who doesn't speak Arabic, myself, it's really hard to memorize uh, ayat and, 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 and all from the Quran. What else do we have? Uh, I want to go from the back, come forward, and then go back here. And the way back, ma'am, yes? Yep, that's you. Stand up. Recycling drive within the community. Are we writing this down? Let's take notes. Let's take it back to the community. Recycling, uh, excellent. Yes, brother. Yeah, in Baltimore, we have the trash busters. We have to have the kids clean the streets and the alleys. Trash busters, participating in the community. P if people see a bunch of Muslims going out there and picking up and taking care of the community, what message does that send to the community? It says, we care about our streets. We care about how our environment looks. That's excellent. Shoveling snow is an excellent idea, especially if you have elderly in your community. You just knock on their door. Can we help you? Or you can mow their lawn. 
Soup kitchens. My kids go to a soup kitchen. They go to an Islamic school also. Believe it or not, they say Saturday evening when they go to the soup kitchen is the highlight of their week. Uh, what can you say? But it says a lot because they do go, they reach out and they see the life of other people and stereotypes are brought down. We're coming forward. Anybody else on this side? Yes, sister. Visiting the oh, school of the blind. Very good. Or, or a deaf school also. That will open up eyes for the children, <laughs> figuratively speaking, for understanding what it's like to live with a disability. I'm going to go from here backwards. Anybody up front? Up front, going back on the left. Yes, sister. Teach workshops. Teaching workshops. And this is what Brother uh, Habib said. When you teach, you know better. You learn from what you're teaching. So teaching workshops, any a particular kind of workshop that you're thinking of? Anything. Excellent. With, within the mosque or outside as well? Both. Excellent. There we go. Brother. Communicating with the orphan kids. Communicating with orphan kids. Absolutely. Now, I know in the United States we don't have orphanages per se, but maybe something could be worked up with, uh, you, know, uh, uh, you know, somewhere in the uh, social services arena. Ah, and it could be international. Why are we keeping local? Think big. That's an excellent idea. Okay, we're going back. Uh, anybody going back? Okay, sister? Yep. So you invited impoverished kids to your masjid? Did you do anything particular with them? Excellent. So you're opening up their eyes and inviting them to the mosque so they have a, a real actual experience of what a mosque is like. Again, Overcoming those stereotypes. Toward the back. Okay, sister? Um, participating in 5K runs as representatives of the Muslim community. Sure, why not? Actually, I'm a runner. I run with my hijab on. I know it might look ridiculous and I embarrass my kids, but you know what? It's exercise. Actually, I've hit 40, so I stopped running. I'm walking now. But, you know, that's the reality. But why not participate in 5Ks? And, you know, have the brothers and sisters there, whether they wear hijab or not, but being a part, and actually they can be team members, right? Because you can have like a group of 10 and they're a team representing the mosque. That's great. Keep going back on the left. Uh, yes, sister? Boxing food at a food bank, wonderful. And actually, here in Chicago, we do something similar, and we have a sticker that says, from the Muslim community. So when the homeless, uh, not homeless, but when uh, those with less means receive it, they know who was behind it. It was Muslims behind it. And brother? Organizing and moderating, moderating an Having an open house, again, to invite people into your mosque, very good. A group writing, that's an excellent idea. Actually, I did that at the Islamic school that I taught at. And uh, it was very effective, uh, getting the students to feel like they are participating in writing a wrong that's out there. OK, what time are we at? It's 11.54. Do we want to keep going with ideas, or do we want to do question and answers? What do you want to do? Question and answers? Let's go for question and answers. I love this idea. Thank you so very, very much. And I hope we kind of succeeded in, in getting the blood going and having people uh, interested in seeing that way. What do you say? Oh, is the blood going now? Yeah, kind of. I, I see a shrug. I'm sorry. I tried, sister. Another cup of coffee. We'll meet afterwards, right? Jazakum Allah khair and salamu alaikum. Okay, Jazakum Allah khair, sister Janan. Um, we're going to go ahead and we have four. Well, Imam Majid can actually come up here. Okay. Okay. Well, Imam Majid is sitting right up here. Brother Habib, Sister Amal, and Sister Janana are here. We, do we have any questions that we can go around with? 